Hi, and welcome back to our CSS navigation video. In this set of videos, we've been looking at creating this navigation bar here. And you can see that we're using images with a rollover effect on them. And what we're going to go ahead and do now, you can see where we're at, is we're going to add the rollover effect. Now again, with the rollover effect, it's important to remember that we have two graphics applied to each list item one that's been applied to the A tag and one that's specifically been applied to the LI tag. And the A tag is always going to be on top of the LI so that'll be the normal state of the graphic. But the hover state of the graphic is actually going to hide that off state graphic revealing the graphic underneath which is the hover image. So let's go ahead and go into our sample document here and go into our CSS and we're going to create a real simple style here. And again, this is going to apply to the menu UL. And we're going to go ahead and do LI A. And this is going to be for the hover effect. And what we're going to go ahead and do is set the background. Again, the background for the A, whenever we hover on it, to none. Simple as that. When I save it and go into design view, now you'll see as I hover over my images, the front image, the off image, disappears, revealing the image underneath. Now the next thing we need to do is we actually need to get rid of these text links. Now, we don't want to actually get rid of them out of the HTML. What we want to do is we actually want to hide them. So that when somebody is looking at our web page and they're able to see CSS, they'll see only the images. But if somebody has CSS turned off, or perhaps a screen reader user or a, uh, a search engine, they'll still see these pieces of text. So again, let's go ahead and look at the source code, HTML code here. And there is that home item or the, in the about text. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to enclose each one of these pieces of text in a span tag just like that and I know I need to go in and change the names after I do that but copy and paste speeds things up for you and then finally contact there we go so the text for each of my buttons is inside of a span tag which is inside of an A tag which is inside of an LI tag. So here's how we're going to go ahead and hide that. I'm going to go into my styles, scroll down here, and the same as the hover effect, I'm going to do a menu LI A, only this time I'm going to go one level deeper and I'm going to say this should affect items in the menu UL inside of an LI, inside of an A, inside of a span tag. And again, I'm going to go ahead and say display none. So that's going to go ahead and hide that particular piece of text. But again, if somebody isn't using the, CS the CSS style sheet, if it's disabled for some reason, like for a screen reader or a search engine, they'll still see um, the text. I'll go ahead and save that, go back into design view here. And I may need to pop in and out of Design View just to refresh that. And you can see the links are gone, but my rollover effect is still there. In the next video, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create this current page state. And you can see right now I'm on my home page. But if I go to my another page by following the link there, or just by holding down Control, you'll see that whatever page I'm currently on, that's the active page indicator. So we're going to see how to set that up. 